What's up guys, this is Damien with Hotch Online and today we're going to take a look at uh, something for you audiophiles. Uh, if you're like me, and I wouldn't call myself like crazy into audio, uh, but I do like my, my, my audio gear and my presets and uh, amps and things for your phone. And um, I found a hack that allows you to really get a significantly better uh, sound. Uh, experience from your Samsung Galaxy S3. Of course, we're talking about the Sprint Edition, although this uh, hack will work with any any version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. So if you're on T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, wherever, and you you want to you want some better audio, then this should work for you. So we're gonna dive into this video, and we're gonna tell you how to uh, how to install this uh, hack onto your phone, and then um, the results that I've kind of been able to tell from before and, and afterwards so let's dig in okay guys so first uh, first things first there's gonna be links in the description so that you can go to uh, the, the thread on XDA uh, from my man uh, Rick Lovins and download the files that you need in order to be able to flash this hack um, after you've downloaded the file and you've placed it on your SD card which is pretty easy I'm not gonna show you guys how to do how to do that that's pretty easy just place on the root of your SD card so we've got our file on the root of our SD card now there's a few things that we're gonna need to do uh, before we do uh, the actual flash uh, just just kind of uh, some precautionary things uh, because you know when you're when you're flashing hacks and ROMs or whatever it is that you're flashing and modifying your phone sometimes things go wrong so to prevent us uh, a, a major headache <laughs> later on down the road what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, the system and then we're going to go into the etc file and we're going to find the audio effect file we're going to take that file and we're going to copy it and we're going to drop it off in our SD card that way uh, when we flash everything and we come back to the ROM uh, that if we have a problem we can replace the one that's uh, damaged with one that's not now guys I'm using a uh, solid Explorer but you can use any file Explorer Astro Explorer or uh, root Explorer root Explorer actually is one of my favorite explorers but you know some it's always a uh, nice to use solid Explorer I, I think it has a better visuals but that's neither here nor there but once we uh, drop our file that we copied from um, the system etc into our SD card it's time to reboot into recovery so that we can flash this uh, acid mod uh, audio hack so um, I had to do the uh, goo manager uh, reboot to recovery way because I'm not on a ROM that provides the uh, reboot to recovery and the power options uh, this is actually the leaked jelly bean source for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 on Sprint uh, which I'll have a video up later for you guys uh, if you want to check that out and uh, get that installed on your Galaxy S3. It's completely, totally awesome. So uh, just a just forewarning you guys. <laughs> but uh, so we this is um, before we go ahead and flash this asset mod. We want to make sure that we back up our system. So yeah, you can uncheck the uh, check marks for doing a full Nandroid and we're just gonna back up our system I'm not going to do one because I actually I currently have the hack on my phone but that's what you would do and uh, we're gonna now look for search for um, the asset mod hack that we placed on our SD card earlier and uh, once we find that uh, there we go asset mod hack we're gonna select that and then we're gonna flash it so once again I'm not gonna do the flash myself because I'm already running the hack but that's what you're gonna do so once you flash the uh, acid audio then you're we're gonna reboot our system and we'll meet back up when the phone is finished uh, booting up okay so our system is finished booting up and the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're getting audio so you want to go to uh, I'm using power amp uh, you can go to power amp or you can go into the uh, Walkman app and um, try it out but you want to press play if you're getting music then that's great it's working but if you're not getting music then uh, or any sound then there's something that we're going to be needing to do remember when we copy the uh, file from our system etc and then uh, we place it on our SD card if you don't have any sound 
then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to uh, the the file that we copied and dropped on our SD card. We're going to take that file and we're going to go back to the system, etc., and locate that that file. Now, once we locate that file, we want to delete that. And then after we delete it, we want to paste the uh, the file that we copied to our SD card into uh, the etc. You can just as long as you place it in there, it'll it'll play it line up where it needs to be. But um, you just want to paste it in that that file extension. Okay, so now the uh, hack should be working. You want to go into the Asset Sound My app. You want to select the type of headset that you have, and also make sure that it auto start on boot is selected now let's talk about this app for a little bit guys because um, they've done what they've done is they've pretty much rounded up the best audio mods for um, pretty much any device and they have put them all together and kinda you we have the best of, of all worlds here they've they've taken things from Beats Audio uh, clear bass sound by Sony X loud by Sony Ericsson uh, Adobe digital sound surround sound uh, also by Walkman, I'm probably saying that wrong. Dyna Dynamic Bass by Walkman, DSP Manager, uh, audio resampling from the Xperia T, uh, Clear Bass Audio from the Xperia T, and um, you actually used to have the uh, Sony Walkman Player app. Now, that's fine and dandy that they say that you know they're taking all these things because anyone can say that. Um, but how does it actually hold up in real world usage? Um, are you going to really notice a significant difference in uh, the quality of your sound and the, the loudness? Because let's let's be upfront. And the Galaxy S3 doesn't have the greatest audio as far as loudness is concerned straight out of the box i've always been kind of disappointed that i couldn't really rock my great old sr 60 eyes with the uh, galaxy s3 it just was so underpowered after applying this hack the sound quality is literally like night and day i don't care how well you think that uh, the galaxy s3 sounds out of the box it really isn't a knock against the galaxy s3 it's just this hack really does make a significant difference in the, your audio quality, um, especially my great OSR 60i. So I'm testing out the audio quality with uh, three different sets of uh, headphones. The Grados, of course, some Sennheiser ear earbuds in the factory Samsung earbuds that come with the Galaxy S3. And I noticed significantly better audio, louder audio, more clear bass in every single one of them, drastically actually. Um, so you definitely want to try this out. So this has been just a quick tutorial on how to apply this hack and my impressions which were astronomically all good. <laughs> Uh, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, tell people maybe not your friends <laughs> about this channel. Uh, it definitely helps out. So this has been Damien, you guys, with Hosh Online. I will see you guys next video. Peace.